So it is that time of year again. The dawning is right around the corner. And by right around the corner, I mean it is released today as of this video being uploaded. So let's just recap very quickly what you need to do. You basically need to go around any kind of activities. And depending on the enemy type that you defeat, you will get a specific kind of ingredient. If you go to a website like light.gg, which I'm going to link in the description, you can see basically an entire catalogue, I suppose would be the best word for it, of what enemy drops which ingredient for each cookie that you need to create. Obviously, returning players from the dawning in previous years will have most of these unlocked already because Bungie doesn't tend to reset the progress, they just carry it on, so I imagine we're going to have like a handful more cookies to add this year. Obviously, I'm recording this in the past, so I don't actually know. I'm probably asleep by the time this video goes up, so... If I'm right in predicting that they've made another raid one where you give a cookie to Rook, then that's going to be surprising for me when I wake up. But let's have a quick look at the Pulse Rifle that is being added to the Dawning this year, which is the Stay Frosty, which you can see on screen now. And this is the purple that it's going to have. So, for example, you've got Armor Piercing Rounds, Ricochet Rounds, you've got Well Rounded, a new perk called Offhand Strike. I don't know if I've seen that one before or not. I don't think I have, though. Killing Wind is also on there, Encore. Going into the fourth column, you had Headstone, Golden Tricorn, Adaptive Munitions, Desperado again. Kill Clip, Head Seeker, so there's quite some variation into it that you can mix around with. And then there's a new Dawning Origin perk that's come out as well, which is Dawning Surprise. Rapidly defeating targets awards a Dawning Gift. Defeating powerful targets count as more than one. So I think your mages and your boss enemies, they'll count more than one. What exactly a Dawning Gift is, I'm not exactly sure. I want to say it might be like the goodie bags we got from the Halloween where it just dropped some random items, but... I could be wrong, I'll have to double check this. But of course there is a second origin perk onto it as well, Omelin Fluid Dynamics, which we're pretty much familiar with now, so you can swap that when the dawning is over. Going into the rest of the stats for this, it could actually be a really good pulse rifle, because it has 450 RPM on a pulse, which is absurdly fast, not to mention you can get Desperado on it as well, so... That will only, like, make things worse, I'm going to say. And then you can go with something like Encore, for example. Then I'll probably go for Ricochet rounds, personally, because I love seeing the rounds bounce off walls. And then we'll go for some small boards just to boost up the range even more. I'm not sure if there's any other bigger range boosts. The uh, full ball seems to be the one, actually. Handling does decrease a little bit, but I would like the range on this pulse. But the curator role is pretty much this. It is going to be Headstone, Offhand Strike, Ricochet rounds, and Arrowhead Break. The god roll is going to be up in the air, I reckon, for the first few days, but we'll wait and see what the community thinks about that. And then finally, there is this image that has been shown up by Destiny Bulletin on Twitter, which a lot of people have probably already seen, but it is showing off the new armor pieces that you'll be able to get in the store for silver. And it does also look like we're getting some ornaments for the Aegis Scepter, the Vexmith, the Class, and I don't know the weapon in the middle, so apologies for that. But I've got to admit, I kind of do like the Titan and the Hunter this year, so I may be inclined to buy the Hunter set. But either way, like I've been doing traditionally, I'm going to guild the seal that's going to come out for the dawning because that is something else that's going to be coming this year. But apart from that, I'm pretty much taking a back seat. I'm just going to sit back and enjoy the season this time around. I'm not going to rush through anything because it's just not worth it. And of course, this is a perfect opportunity for me to say Merry Christmas and have a Happy New Year. That's going to be everything from me. I shall see you all in the next video.